Okay, so today on Animation Shorts 1, I'm going to show you guys how to install a form on your site. So, let's first start by going to Google and typing in SMF, which stands for Simple Machine Forms. Um, click the first one that pops up, and let's go to Download. And we're going to select the full install because this is our first time installing it. And we're going to select zip file. Hit save file. And alright, it's done downloading. As you can see, it's 1.7 megabyte. Let's close that. And now, here comes the part where you're going to need a server to host your forms. Um, my hosting is with HostGator, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my host here, log in, and I'm going to close the SMF download page. And now that I'm logged in, we're going to need to upload um, SMF or Simple Machine Forms to our server or our um, web space. So I'm going to go to File Manager the web root and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit public HTML and I'm gonna create a new folder and this folder is what your forms are gonna be stored in I'm gonna name it my forms and hit enter and now we have our my forms right here and I'm gonna double click it and now let's go to upload and the file management system may vary depending on who's your host and whatnot but it's pretty much the same way the same procedure so let's browse for our smf um, zip file that we downloaded recently mine is going to be under downloads and here it is. And let's see. Let me find it here. Alright, here it is. SMF 1 1 10 under dash install. Double click it. And as you can see, it says starting download. It's going to take 37 seconds. Uh, when this is happening, I'm going to pause the video, and then I'll get back to you when it's done. Okay, so as you can see, um, SMF install.zip has um, uploaded successfully, 100% complete. Let's close the upload files page, and now if we reload or refresh it, and there it is. Let's right click it and hit extract. And that's good. This is just asking which directory you want to place it in. And this is good. And shows that all of them have been extracted. And let's hit close. And now, as you can see, we have everything we need to start making our form. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're, um, we're going to configure it so you can actually use the form. So, let me re-log into here. Mm. Uh, one second. Alright, here we are. And now let me find my... We're going to have to create a database, so I'm going to go to my SQL databases, and I'm going to create a new one. Let's name it My Forms and hit Create Database. And as you can see, added the database, My Forms. Hit Go Back. And now, what we're going to do to that database is first, if you don't have users for databases, just create one where it says Create or Add New Users here. But it may already give you a user assigned to it. But if not, this is how you assign a user to the database. Go to add user to database. Uh, mine is Noah. 
and my database is my forms because that's the one we created and I'm going to hit add and I'm going to select all privileges and let's go back now that that's done we're going to go to our site which is in my case sn50.com forward slash my forms because that's the directory we saved it in forward slash and it brought us up to the smf installer now let's start out by naming our form I'm going to name it sn50's forms if you want you can join these forms it's on the front page of my site and let's go to here and let's get the database name you see um, by default MySQL server name is localhost now we need the username which is remember um, mine is noah qw under dash noah so I'm gonna type that in and then my password very simple but I'm not gonna say it um, and then my database name is noah qw, noah QW my forms because remember my forms was the database we created and then the table prefix is what's going to be installed inside our database so let's just leave it as smf so we know what it means and everything looks good let's hit proceed and all right now what we have to do is create an account on our forms and by default you should stick with admin here as your username your password I'm just gonna make it uh, one two three four five six and my email address admin at sm50.com you should make your email address correspond to your site's address so admin at sm50.com and then mysql database name or, or password I'm just gonna type it in and I'm gonna hit finish and congratulations the installation process is complete click here to delete this install.php file now make sure you do that and now if we go to simple machines forms oops if we let me just backslash install and go to my forms we now have our forms right here um hopefully this tutorial was helpful and you can expect more tutorials from animation shorts one in the future I'll see you later.